Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, change the profile picture of the app uh, by using the KVMD file manager uh, so you will be able to access to the files on your device including computer or even on your Android phone so uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, yeah, just click on your navigation drawer and then when you click on this it's, fine, it's going to be an image button and then it will open up a um, KVMD file manager to allow you to select the pictures that you want to use so for now it's going to be an empty image and uh, let's close it so uh, yeah as you open the uh, KVMD file manager it's going to look looks like this uh, it, it will show all the folder of your device and then when you go inside the folder you can select the image that you want to uh, display so uh, before that uh, if you haven't downloaded the app uh, feel free to go to uh, Google Play Store to download the My SG Transport. Um, it's going to be the app that we want to deploy uh, at the end of the series. And then, if you like my content, uh, yeah, welcome to uh, support me on uh, buymeacoffee.com, Marcus John123, which is my page. And um, <clears throat> so, the first thing that we want to do is always we want to create a new screen. So, for this case, I call this uh, profile photo screen. And let's copy this. Go to white code. And let's go to the top. And put it uh, after the favorite parts of the screen. Save it. <clears throat> In the main.kv, we want to include the kv file that we are going to create later. We are calling, uh, we call it uh, profile for screen.kv and then in the screen manager you would like to have this with the right indentation okay in the kv folder we are called uh, no it's not not opening screen.kv I for to change it uh, I think we uh, it's going to be the profile for screen.kv So uh, yeah, these are the code that we want to copy. So, mm -hmm. let's see. Let's copy this and paste it here. Save it. So um, yeah, what's going to happen is that uh, you have two grid layout under the foot layout. The first one is going to be known as uh, profile photo grid. Uh, ID is for the grid. So this is where we want to, uh, yeah. This is where we want to have our uh, profile photo. Uh, and then this selection. So the second one is going to be uh, uh, another grid layout with a uh, label button. So we will have a uh, um, taxi button, bus. MRT, RT, traffic, and parking. Okay, so this grid layout is where we want to have our profile for the manager. So, um, in the Mendo panel the change screen function, uh, let's add this. Then I will explain what is it. So, if the screen name is equal to profile photo screen, uh, if the platform is Android, uh, we want to uh, from Android or permission import request permission, comma permission. So request permission is going to allow us to uh, access to the storage on your device, uh, including read and write. So you need to have both of them uh, for the profile photo manager to work properly because we need to access to the file on your device. Um, when you are using the app on your uh, computer, you do need to have this. But if you are on Android, you need to request permission. Okay, so uh, we need to import the platform because here we are using platform. So let's see from kiwi.utils in import platform, and then we need to create a profile photo manager.py. And here, 
uh, what we're going to do is copy this and paste here. So when this profile folder manager class is instantiated, uh, we will bind to window.bind to on keyboard equal to self.events. So this one is going to have a file manager. Okay. So uh, as we instantiate this class, uh, this will be built. Okay. Because uh, yeah, we have a uh, when we instantiate this class and we, as we call this function, it's going to build a dot load string, which is going to create this. So this one is going to create a, a round flat icon button, which when you click, is going to open up the file manager. Okay. So uh, the file manager open function is defined here. Okay, it will show. Uh, the file manager okay for computer you will use slash okay but uh, if you are using on mobile uh, Android mobile phone you need to change this one the show to primary external storage uh, which is going to be your the internal storage on your phone so for now we will comment it out because uh, we are now working on computer and this one is good not going to work uh, I prepared a code here so that when we want to deploy to Android phone, we want to uncomment this. And uh, yeah, this one is going to uh, refer to your Android uh, internet storage. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing because they call it primary external storage, but in fact, it's an internet storage on your phone. Okay, so for now, we will just show the path on the computer and then we open the manager. Okay, so when the manager is open, uh you are you, you can actually select the path okay and then preview equal to true will allow you to preview the files okay so the select path is defined here uh it's going to toss the path okay and then uh additionally we want to uh as we select the path we want to change the profile source at the main.py so we want to change we are, we're going to pass the path to this function change profile source if you still remember uh yeah we haven't created that uh function yet but uh, if you remember uh, for now our uh, path um, of the image is defined as empty because we don't have this uh, text file yet that store our image path therefore our uh, email source path is always empty so it is email source path is referred from the main.kv where we have our uh, image button for the profile picture so our source is app.image source file which is this one for now it's empty but if we manage to create this text file with the actual path of the image that we want to use then it will actually open it up and read it to replace the empty image with the actual image that you want to use okay so um yeah under the on start function we also want to add this because we want to add the profile manager uh to the screen the profile manager screen so let's put it So we create a profile photo grid that is referring to the profile photo manager. Uh, sorry, the profile photo grid is referring to the profile photo screen dot id profile photo grid. Okay. Then we instantiate the profile photo manager and we call the function run. It's going to build the profile photo manager for us. Then we add this profile photo manager to the profile photo grid. Okay. Uh, of course, we need to import it, the profile folder manager at the top. Let's see. And uh, we haven't defined this function yet. This function is being called here as we select the path. So we need to copy this and then we put it at the main.py. see I will put it right above the change screen function with the correct indentation 
So this function is going to take the path that we have selected and then uh, we are going to reset the self.root.id.profile.source This one is referring to uh, this one okay, your image button source so as we select the path we are going to update the image button source file and for computer I'm adding a C um, and then plus the path I think we can remove the C I don't know uh, yeah mostly we can remove the C and then uh, it will be only the path and we're going to also toggle the navigation drawer to uh, close it after we select the path okay so uh, we are also going to open the profile source text uh, file and then write the path inside okay we write the path inside so for a uh, mobile font uh, we can we, we actually only need to use the path we don't need a C and then same for here we yeah but I guess mostly for computer you do need to add this as well uh, you can try it out and then maybe you can let me know um, so for now it will be like this and then uh, yeah so yeah as we select the image it's going to change the path and then it's going to update the profile source.txt and when it's updated uh, when it's updated your yeah we can open it up here and then we will read the actual email source path the next time when you're trying to open this app or run this app okay uh okay i will, I will show you uh what is actually happening so for now if you run the app Our profile photo is an ND uh, button, so we'll click on it. It will show you a screen like this. Um, so this screen is going to be our uh, profile photo screen, and then we have the profile photo grid, which is this one. Then we have our second grid layout, which is the label button at the bottom. So as we click on the Open Manager. It's going to show us all the path on your device. In this case, uh, on my computer. So uh, what I'm going to do is I can actually go and select uh, the image that I want to use. Let's say user, and then probably I go to desktop and new folder, and then I select the image. Boom. So this is going to toss the path and then it will also change your profile image source source of the image button and at the same time you can see that we created a text file so this text file is going to store the path of your image okay and now if we uh, close it and let's say we close the app okay then if we uh, run it again and because if we have this text file let's, let's store the path of our profile image so when you open it the next time it's going to load into this text file and it's going to look for path in this text file and it will display it. it's no longer an empty image anymore okay and yeah if you want to change it again you can click on it again and then you can open your manager select the image that you want to update okay yeah i hope it's a good tutorial to you and i hope you learn a lot from this uh, tutorial and the next uh, tutorial we are going to uh, finish up the last page of uh, last screen of the app which is called uh, we will have one car parking screen and we will have one bicycle parking screen and after this tool, we are ready to uh, build the APK file with the build loader and deploy on your uh, mobile phone. Okay, so uh, stay tuned to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.